Hello, and welcome to the April 12th edition of the Community Call for Chaos. I'm Elizabeth, Chaos Community Manager. Glad to see everybody here. Um, one more time, we'll put the minutes into the chat. And as always, feel free to add your name if you would like to do that. You do not have to do that if you don't want to, but we would like to uh, kind of keep track of how many people come to these meetings. So yeah, it'd be great if you could do that. And of course, always, as always, you do not have to turn your camera on or your mic. Happy to just integrate the chat over to the side in with the flow of the meeting. So yeah, let's get to it. Uh, before we actually start, I have a question for the ChaosCon committee. Do we need to meet today? I just need to know how much time. I think we just, the only thing we need to do is make sure all the hurdles to release the call are cleared. I think they are cleared because we did it. We released so, it. So I, I, don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know that we need to meet today then, but what, anyone else oppose that perspective? Did you want to discuss the uh, the workshop? I, I don't think we um, have. Oh we don't, yeah, I guess we don't have can. a lot of info or plans on that yet, right? Sure. Yeah, let's let's meet briefly. I think we only need like ten minutes though, at the most. Okay, so let me just add that here. Thank you, Kevin. So for those who are new. Um, we uh, are now in the chaos con planning stage. So uh, we will sh end these meetings, these weekly meetings a little bit short, um, just to give our committee a chance to talk about whatever we need to talk about um, in the time that we're all kind of here anyway. So um, we'll release the rest of the community. Y'all don't have to stay. Um, and then the planning committee will just stick around on this call. So we'll end a little early today. Okay, um, so first, things first. Somebody tried to add something to the agenda, but it didn't save. So we just have cleaning up the, we don't know. So if you were that person to add this, we would love to know what you want to clean up. You know, I wrote that yesterday during one of the badging meetings, and I can't remember for the life of me what I was trying to write. So I think I, uh, I don't think it's that important then. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, all right, so it's been cleaned up. There we go, done. So productive already, thanks, Matt. <laughs> uh, okay, so the actual first item on the agenda. Oh, Matt, uh, C, if you do remember, just add it to the end, no big, we'll get okay, to it. Okay, sounds good. Um, okay, so Chaos Con Europe 2022 is happening, for sure, for real. We've opened the CFP, which we just did today, like a half an hour ago. So hot off the press, fresh news right here. Uh, you heard it first. Um, here you go, here it is. We are co-locating co with Open Source Summit Europe, uh, which is gonna happen in Dublin in September. Um, our part of the conference will be on September 12th, which is the first day uh, of the OSSEU conference, if you want to call it that, because it's like a little bit, it's like a pre-conf, I guess you would say. Um, so yeah, go us. So if you're interested in chatting or giving a talk about chaos or open source metrics or a variety of other topics, please submit a CFP, submit a proposal to our CFP. And there's a form that you can do that. So and if you can't get to Google Forms, just... <coughs> And we'll get it. We'll get you taken care of. Go ahead, Matt. Sorry. Oh, I, I, it's no, no biggie. Um, we do have we have the room for three and a half hours, mm -hmm. so that's that looks like our time. And then I had asked for the morning, just in terms of like time. Mm -hmm. TBD. So, so my guess it's like nine to twelve thirty. Do know. we know if it's before or after the conference yet? Did that get sorted out? Yeah, it's, it's before. Before, okay. Yeah, the um, OFSE. And then I don't have a strong sense that we would get another room. Just so you know, Sean. For the workshop. For the mm -hmm. workshop. Yep. But, but Sean, I, but I, I, I well. totally could be wrong. I really, honestly, could be wrong. Um. Yeah. Maybe there's a. 
make well we can, do we want to discuss that during the conference planning part or now well, the planning part we can i mean so, yeah okay i think it's pretty quick i think we asked the linux foundation if they'll give it to us and it's going to depend on how many requests they get and if they tell us no then we make other plans yeah yeah my thinking was briefly just that if the software workshops are in the same location following the chaos con that just naturally leads to better participation rates um, that makes it easy for people to participate in that. Truth. What I mean, what I'll do is when the there's like a form, uh, like an official request form that shows up from the LF that I have to fill out. So I've been talking kind of ahead of time, just so they know we have an interest. But they said you're super early, so <laughs> so we're we're doing like we're doing well on time, um, and I'll. I'll put in a request for two rooms. I'll say that the the early one, that's like the really required one. And if we can get yeah. two, that would be great. Yeah. And we in the we are are we not able to request just the same room for the whole day or so what it what they're what they give us is a three and a half hour room. Okay. So I think things have changed over the years as they have more projects and they think about space yeah. a little bit more deliberately, would be sure, my sure. guess. Well, it's just, uh, we can hang on that for now. It's not urgent. All right. Anybody have any questions or comments about the CFP for chaos plan? All right. We will move ahead then. So um, number two, final metrics relief prep. Um, if those in the working groups could please indicate that the metrics are ready for release. That would be super, super helpful for Kevin and the rest of the metrics release team. Um, Kevin, you want to add anything to that? Uh, nope, just uh, make sure you're going in and addressing comments and editing the metrics uh, if you need to. Uh, I did go through, I went through all the working groups and added the uh, data privacy disclaimer and link. Uh, and during that process, I did remove the uh, the release link header for the uh, for the metrics that were under the review. However, I might have missed a few. So if you if you see one that I missed, uh, please let me know. And Kevin, is is there a date that we're trying to make this release by? Uh, so so Generally, it's a uh, so we're a little informal on this uh, because edits need to be made or often need to be made. Uh, so I, ideally, I'd like the working groups to be able to do it in a, a week after the review ends. But uh, we generally say a week to two weeks. So uh, the sooner they can sign off on them, the better. And as soon as all of the working groups sign off on their metrics, uh, we do the we do the release so so maybe by the end of the week to ha have that done have have all the working groups like sign off on everything yeah friday friday would be the last uh would be the i, I would hope that they would have be able to have them signed off before friday okay by friday so i went through common dei and value because those are the groups that i attend most often and I think they're done. So I had put a note in all of them. I think we've done the work in DEI. I think we only had one metric in common and it's been addressed. And value, I think only had one metric as well with the removal of one. So I think those should be good. Uh, anybody have any questions for Kevin and the team about the metrics release or issues, problems, feedback? Okay. All right, we will move on then. Y'all are so quiet today. Gosh. I'm talking. <laughs> Thanks, Matt G. Okay, uh, just a reminder to our um, prospective mentorship uh, applicants. There are some deadlines coming up. Just want to make sure you know, you're aware. Um, you need to add your name to the 
uh, respective docs that you are expressing an interest, a formal official interest in applying April 19th for GSOC and April 22nd at Outreachy. Uh, I have a question for you, Sean, actually. Are you- I have the answers. <laughs> I hope so. Are you planning Maybe. on doing another um, office hours before that time? Uh, for the, the GSOC stuff, yeah. We discussed that last week. It fell okay. off of my boat last okay. week as a thing that I could fit into my limited time, but I think I can probably do it this week. Um, we're out of time here, so today's Monday. All right, I'm thinking Wednesday, probably okay. Wednesday morning, 8 a.m. Why don't we just book that 8 to 9.30 Wednesday? Today's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Okay, so tomorrow. God damn. <laughs> Yesterday is lost, obviously. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so tomorrow, let's just put it out there, 8 to, 8 to 9.30 a.m. And that actually, well, that, that might... Actually, no, I, I could do, why don't we do 7.30 to 9? another thing okay it might i was gonna say it might overlap with uh the is this uh oh, the dei badging meeting yeah yeah but that should be good we'll do 7 30 to 9 and i'll put it on a where, where would we make this announcement maybe in slack um i can do it on twitter whatever wherever you want we can put it all right i'm just thinking um why don't we use why don't i use my zoom since there's a chaos meeting at that time okay Slack and the outreachy channels pride a really good yeah. place. Is this um, for both GSOC and outreachy? Sean? It's for GSOC, targeted towards GSOC because it'll be more technical. Okay. This will be for technical questions and answers. It okay. won't be for documentation questions and answers. I've not been very good at answering technical questions during the regular office hours, so I'm really yeah. glad to do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, so, ah. yeah. I meant to, yeah, I meant to throw on the calendar yesterday, obviously, because I still think it's yesterday. Um, oh, that'd be awesome. So thanks, Sean. Yeah, my pleasure. It's, uh, I'm going to yeah. actually put an, a, an action item for this you, is, though. I'm going to send you my link. Okay. Send Elizabeth a link. Okay. And I will disperse. I'll just, I'll just do that in Slack right now. Okay, perfect. Oh, we're so productive. I just love it. Um, and then so for outreachy, if there are questions, they can just put them in the outreachy channel. That's that's what would be the best place for that. Yeah. And those issues we have there, you could bring one up as an example. So we've been pointing people to these. So this is like here's a, uh yeah. So like see that one through six. Like here are the things that you should do. So it's a little bit different than GSOC just because um, they post their things to the outreachy application. So like any PRs or issues that they have. So that like interest.md file does not exist for outreachy. We can just look at it through the outreachy interface. I see. Okay. I see. Okay. It's a little bit more extensive from a, a student perspective got you got you yeah we uh talked went somewhere in the office hours about the fact that that outreachy students have to link to something yeah exactly center issue like that's rough because you know they're participating in other ways that don't count anywhere mm -hmm. according to outreachy and so it's kind of tricky but um so this is to do that like like just posting an issue in the metrics model working group around conversion rate like a uh, just an issue about how you would approach this in the metrics model working group. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is there um, is there a label or something they should use to indicate that like that's why they're opening the issue? Um, yeah, it's probably a good idea. So I don't know if we have an outreachy label in the metrics model working group. I can add that. Okay. I was gonna just look real quick. Metrics. I, I doubt we do. Okay. So outreachy, yeah. Uh, open a, an issue here. Yeah, exactly. And just kind of describe how you would approach this model. Okay. Like what the work plan is. Okay, perfect. 
I might and then that, that gives the person an issue that they can post to the outreach application. A link, okay. Yeah, a link. So I might reach out to some of the outreachy folks that have attended the office hours and just clarify that because I think okay. I led them astray. So then, <laughs> I will try to sort that out. Yeah, just try to go to those two issues because we had information in a lot of different places. Mm -hmm. And I think honestly, because the last I time did that. Because <laughs> the last time we participated in outreachy, we only had a few people. So I think it was easy to communicate. And yeah. We I did literally follow the template that we used the last time. <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, with it, 100 it people, it wasn't working. <laughs> no, it wasn't at all. So I think we fixed it on Friday. Did does the work we did on Friday seem to be, make it better? I'm getting fewer or Thursday. Thursday, yes, Thursday and I'm able to, and it's nice because I'm able to, and I even updated the description in the Arichi channel. Like go go here. <laughs> These are the things. So I'm trying to like really work people just into just to a, a few particular issues. All right. Okay. Awesome. Any questions about that? All right, let's go on. Okay, so the next thing on our list is the metrics freeze. Um, let's talk about that. Yeah, so that's that's me. That's actually not for the current release. It's about the next, you know, whatever five or six month cycle. That it's a proposal that we don't actually release any new metrics during this five month time, and we spend our time reviewing our metrics, um, making improvements. Sometimes our templates are off. Sometimes the language is poor. Uh, I just I think we need to attend and maintain the things that we have released. And this might be a good three or four month period to do just that. So just suspend the mid. I don't think we did any mid releases last time anyway. We just we don't even aim in, in six months, whatever, or like around OSS EU. We actually have no new metrics that are right. part of the release. They're all like all of our metrics have been cleaned up. They follow the proper template. Our language is consistent across all of them. Oh. So are you saying the metrics working groups would not develop any new metrics? Correct. That's the proposal, so, that they simply work on the metrics that have been released. There, there's just a lot of inconsistency. Yeah. Just the templates are kind of screwed up a lot across a lot of them. Um, like I'm just I'm going through even just like the DEI metrics. There are remarks in the spreadsheet that need to be addressed. Some of our references point to 404s. We don't have date of last reviews. Like there's just a lot of cleanup that needs to be done yeah. on these metrics. And it just takes time. Okay. I, I think I think um I guess from a like I can only think of in the risk working group, we definitely have some things that we're hashing through that I think we would want to release. Um that doesn't prohibit us from addressing these things as well. But but I think like I know there's some pressing metric issues that we want to get through for for risk so my and that's fair my concern is that we tried to do this in this last round like we tried to say okay go ahead and release new metrics and take a look at your prior yeah. metrics and we, it just didn't happen i would say that that's true so that's 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 why i was suggesting it. we tried for six months yeah. it didn't happen <laughs> We need to try something new. <laughs> yeah. I mean, ultimately this, so I guess the thing that I'm thinking is that these kinds of cleanup activities are generally not something that you would do in a collaborative working group meeting. They're generally the kind of thing that you send a cleaner out to do. So that's true for, for some of them. So some of them are uh, as simple as like addressing <coughs> a cheap remark, but some are like code of conduct, as an example, code of conduct an event is taking a fairly substantial rewrite of that. Like we have a whole new Google Doc. We're actually yeah. doing pretty substantial edits on that metric. So some might be really easy yeah. and some are, I think, considerably more extensive. And is it the older ones that you're finding are more extensive? Yeah, I mean, some of the older ones are even on the wrong template. So we're gonna have to re-template re them. I had the I same experience. I wonder if there's something sort of partway in between these two things. Like, I feel like Sean is 
um, in the risk working group may be working on some metrics right now that they're getting relatively close to releasing. And if they stop thinking about that entirely for six months, yeah, I think that's going to be problematic. So maybe maybe ones that are close to being done now, we let them go ahead and, and finish the ones that are in progress that are like well into progress and then focus the rest of our efforts on, on cleanup. I mean, it's just once like, like I just I just know that anything that sits for six months is harder to pick up than just to finish it. Yeah. Um, I would suggest one thing is like if any metric is in progress or uh, like ready to finish, we can like complete it, put it on a hold as we did for a couple of metrics when they were ready, but uh, they were in the review period. So we can just make it ready, put it on a hold, not forget our thoughts and work on the cleanup once the release cycle is there. And if they are ready, we can release them. Otherwise we'll work on those. But like putting a stop on the middle of uh, already worked metric will be difficult. So, I mean, I, th I think, so what, uh, yeah, I think that's a reasonable compromise that, you know, finish what you're working on, if you're working on something and then. Don't start anything new. Yeah. <laughs> And then, I mean, of course, I'm like putting this out there as like the most extreme kind of thing. So I'm I'm happy to do something in the middle too. Um, so I just I guess so like in risk as an example, can you <laughs> promise that you'll really work to finish those metrics? I don't know. I feel like I'm talking to my dad now. I said, yeah, yeah, I promise. <laughs> uh, I guess, trust me with the car. We, we're just going driving with the cars, so uh -huh. just me and a couple of the guys. No beer. Just but those come to closure. Yeah, <laughs> right. And that's then the metrics police and yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you want um, some help doing some like grunt work, just to like get things retemplated or anything like that, I'm happy to do that as a way to kind of ease myself back in. That'd be great, Benya. Yeah. So like, I'm I mean, I guess. Next. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, Sean. I, I do think it's really going to be hard to like. I don't want to have a four months of a working group meetings that are only like plowing through cleanup. I think that's uninspiring. Um, but the the metrics are a really critical part of what chaos. No, I know, I know. I'm just like I don't think the work. Like, yeah, messy and yeah. Have they you have considered? To be, have have you considered? Up. Go ahead. Sorry. Have you considered just downloading uh, what metrics are currently available and then just shoving them through a PDF uh, template and just formatting them as like an actual book? Uh, we do release them as a PDF. Well, so they... the idea is to like use a new PDF format that's in your current format and just shove the raw data into them, which would reformat them. And then you can just pull them back into the formatting. That I don't know about. Uh, I, I don't I, think formatting is not the issue. Yep. Uh, uh, the style and uh, uh, vocabulary and our working group understanding of what a metric is, what a model is, and what a focus area is, I think is are the kind of those big issues. Uh, I've I've gone through uh, every every single metric we've released multiple times. Uh, and what I what I see now is uh, a fair amount of metrics that are actually probably closer to what we would think of as models. Yeah, can can we? Um, I guess two things. One, can we put a link to the current template that we're supposed to be using at the top of these meeting minutes? I think that would be helpful. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I guess if and if they're models, to your point, Kevin. I mean, I know that we've, we've gone back on value, for example, and identified a metric that we're converting to a metrics model. And if, if we decide to do that, if we change a metric into a metrics model, uh, so, so value. That's, like a, that's like a separate process, but it also demands that you manage your metrics and have changes or additions to the metrics in order to make that transition would be my guess. Like yeah, you it, probably can't transition a, a metric to a what it should be because it's multiple metrics into a model without developing the underlying metrics first. So it's like I agree a hundred percent. It's a multi-step process to clean that up. 
Ruth, did you have a comment? Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, so I think the only time that I analyzed this we're talking about like graphical representation of metrics, which I think will be like will you know be interactive for readers. And and a question I have is that will it make sense to have if we are using PDFs, right? Different like a PDF per working group. Right, because I think with like the current the current way it is like everything is together. So yeah, it's very long, right? So we it makes sense to have like one PDF per working group, and then there's also that graphical representation of metrics as well, which with something interactive, animated. I, I know that's a lot of work, but <laughs> be cool. So it looks like that's a good idea, Ruth. Um, yeah, we would we might have to think about that a little. Um, let's put that in. Yeah. So I think we have a there is a process that we can kind of go forward with, and it's on the review of the metrics. So no. people have been. And then, yeah, this is where I put you. <laughs> so it's basically just based on your your question earlier. It's going through the existing set of released metrics. So by working group. So then, yeah, I just put you with risk. Um, so I was going through the DEI metrics and I just go through the metric one by one and I read it and I, I kind of see if there's what appears to be um, problems in readability in the description or the objective, if the reference links are broken, um, if like there's inconsistency in the way that um, survey, like the, the Likert scales are presented, like it's different than the how the other metrics do it. Um, things like adding date of last review. So I'm just, I'm kind of just keeping like a, a a notebook of comments that I'm making, or sometimes like in the in the list under objectives or the I'm sorry the data collection strategies like the formatting is just bad like there needs to be a new line sometimes. Um, and so if we could just go through the list of released metrics, Sean Common, Elizabeth Evolution. And maybe we could open an issue for each of the metrics that have been released with just comments on what we're seeing on a, on a first look. So I would go into DEI and I would open an issue for whatever the metric might be, diversity access tickets. And so like my notes here are for diversity access tickets the data collection strategies are not formatted really well. The two references are no longer available. There's a remark in the spreadsheet about something to add to the metric and data of last review is not there. So I, I could just do an issue, like here are the things that, that I see in the metric, but overall the text looks pretty good. Um, time and that, yeah. Oh, yeah, go ahead. sorry, when you keep going, I had a thought, but if, I feel like what you're describing is almost like a another checklist of sorts in the sense that I feel like the one concern that I have for individual working groups reviewing our metrics, which we should be, um, is that we might not have a good example of some of these things that you're talking about. I can um, add that to a checklist. Yeah. I was just thinking like, cause you're describing, this is a, like, this is a better format or this is a mm -hmm. recommended format or approach for something that if we don't have an example of in our own metrics, good then idea. we might align to one thing that isn't consistent with the rest of the other working groups. So um, I, I having could, some something. Sort of yeah, I could add that what, either to the, you know, the existing template, the checklist in the issue, I could add it to that or maybe a different one. Like if there's a new issue that's opened for revisiting the metric, kind of a different set of checks. I feel like the, the existing template is what's currently used. Like we could just add 
maybe a comment on the bottom about like where you're seeing the most inconsistencies, just so it's mm -hmm. all, I, I don't want to have it in too many places just because yeah, it will no, increase the chances we won't we miss it. Yeah. And I, to that point, I would say that a lot of my comments, they're, they're, they're similar, you know, like the exactly data collection <laughs> strategy format is screwed up in a lot of them. It just needs some new lines in there. It's not hard, but it's, it just needs to be done. Um, okay. Yeah, I can also just, here, just thinking uh, about you, Matt, and not having to repeat this like 20 times. <laughs> yeah. So I went through the evolution, all the evolution metrics and did just that. And I just reopened the old issue that we had for original. And then I just left my comments in, in these. So these are all the ones that need to be looked at again, because they're just, okay. old. they're like two plus years old. And like, for instance, like code changes lines, like, um, you know, there were um, links that need to be fixed, like you said, and then I just left the, the comments in these issues. So I don't know if that's right, but some yeah. of these were. Can yeah. I suggest this was something a filter on this? Like... Yeah, I want to suggest one thing, Elizabeth, as you're reviewing it, if you have that checklist we are doing for the new releases and follow that, okay, whether the existing matrix is fulfilling all the checklist things, we are good to, like highly likely it is up to the mark. That is one of the suggestions. So incorporating a new check, uh, like metric release checklist and uh looking at all the aspects will be helpful in the review process yeah we would so we would just add this check the checklist like to these yeah um do you know if there's if you can do it like a checklist that would like there could be a yes no checklist which would be like add date of last review you know what i mean like just do that but is there can you do a checklist that would be like um an open box, like a free text box, like you would check it and then like it would say like um, the checkbox would say like um, language to take a look at in the metric and then you could be specific like sometimes I say like the fourth the fourth point in objectives is redundant with the first point, you know what I mean like sometimes the check a checklist won't be as precise as it needs to be i'm afraid so i'm not. Sure, how we would handle that. Does that make sense? Not, yeah, it makes sense, but I'm not sure if this option is available in the GitHub checklist thing or not. Okay. I might also suggest that while the working groups are finishing up whatever metrics they had already started, maybe we take this time to create the style guide to, to define yeah. what is a filter, what is a metric model, what is a metric. like. So very clear terms so that when they're done, the rest, like we're ready to, to just point them, like follow this style guide, make sure that your terminology, what is an actor, what is an author, what is a submitter, you know, all of those things are already right. nailed down. I think based on, on what you've been going through, Elizabeth, with the evolution working group and maybe what I'm doing right now with the DEI working group, we might have some nice uh, like points to talk about, you know what I mean? Like I could kind of listen to what, what you saw and you could kind of listen to what I saw and maybe together. And then to the points of that you were just making here. And I think to Kevin's points earlier, like what is a metric? What is a metric model? What is a focus area? Like how it's do we not, think about these things? It sounds, it feels to me like maybe there's different perspectives and insights that different people have gotten from doing these reviews. So maybe we should get the reviewers together to norm our approach. So like beyond the group that's you, me, Kevin. Well, no, I mean, I just, I actually mean that group, like get us together and, and oh, yeah, that, I think our so. review process is like, yes. it's going to be important. That, that's what I was saying. Now that Elizabeth oh. has been through it, and <clears throat> now that I've been going through it, we can kind of normalize that. Yeah, that makes sense. And some of the early metrics, like we even put in the, like the, the code that you would use in Grimoire Lab to run the metric. And we don't go that deep at all now. So like even things like that, where it's completely different styles and methodologies of creating the metric that we've just evolved in the way we define it. It is funny that you were seeing SQL statements. Yeah, I was like, wow, okay. That's really in, de in detail. But then there were other yeah. metrics that were trace data didn't even mention Grimoire Lab and Augur at all. Like they didn't yeah. even exist. So evolution was the earliest metrics and we definitely yeah. got more 
technical there um, early on for sure. I think the if we're if we're meeting to discuss this, one of the uh, one of the outcomes of that meeting could be the beginnings of a style <laughs> guide document. Uh, and to the to the point that was made earlier. Uh, our current template actually does have some style guide information on it. Uh, a lot of it is at the, the bottom of the page. Okay. So okay, um, the action item good. Yeah. for the review team to need to review the style guide and define terminology. Is that accurate? Yeah, and then like a consistent way to present the like the re request for change. And that could be it could be um, the checkboxes or it could be something else, but the checkboxes are a good idea. Because that's what we use for the first release. And then when it when it comes to actually editing the metrics or uh, the work that comes out of this. This is going to be the, we're going to be making recommendations to working groups. Is that correct? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And I, I think, think the, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I was going to say, I think one of the recommendations that I would probably be making would be, would be for the working groups to, to actually take a, take a look back at their focus areas uh and their metrics and and their models and kind of resort things so Wait. and maybe we could uh i mean this is maybe a discussion for this group but like create like labels for these issues too like easy fix you know what i mean uh narrative fix <laughs> you know things like that to Sean's point, a lot of these, I mean, some of these are just really mundane fixes. They're not thinking too hard. It's true. Uh, uh, he did, he, one, of, one, one other point that he made was that uh, one of the issues we may come across is that we, uh, we do need to define new metrics to address some of the uh, uh, some of the the metrics that are basically metrics models right with uh, with yeah, with, un wanna... with with undefined metrics in them yeah uh, and from looking at from looking at all of our metrics i can i agree a hundred percent that that's going to be an issue uh, which which would complicate a metrics freeze if we're if we're trying to clean this up and, and part of the cleanup is uh defining metrics to uh uh, to reinforce uh, metrics models. Would it, would it make sense to have just like a separate working group that all they did was review old metrics? I mean, basically our review team, but then like the team actually goes and makes the changes to the old sounds, metrics. Sounds like KP. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Some people like that because it, yeah. it's more of just like, you don't have to really you know, think too hard, but you're the one that knows what the terminology should be. You're the one that kind of, I don't know, just a thought. I like that thought. It's a good thought, yeah. I can take that job since I'm familiar with most of the working group and terminology and all these things. So if you make a recommendations, I can slowly, gradually keep on making those changes and creating a pull request for those. Okay, so once we can kind of get the issues sorted out, that should help. Yes. And sometimes, sometimes it will, the issue will have to go back to the working group. Like there's a, a fundamental change that needs to be made to the text. So that's the recommendation anyway. We'll just create a label called Vinod. <laughs> <You can. laughs> sure. I'm gonna label all my stuff with Vinod. There you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Done. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So we kind of have a plan-ish 
to move forward and we can just kind of see how this goes. Thank you. So, yeah, love it. Any final comments before we move on? We have not that much time left. We should have stopped four minutes ago to give time to chaos con planning, but um, okay, we'll quickly just touch on this archiving the community minutes. I assume that's this document here. Yeah, so that was just me. We do this, there's an example there for doing it in DEI. Yeah, we, <clears throat> we did it through 2021, but we should probably archive now 2021, I think is safe yeah. to do. And where is the archive for the community minutes? It's in the Google Drive that Chaos owns. Okay, so we had done it in the DEI link there. We did it in the repo. We just made a meetings folder. Mm, okay. And so I don't know what people's thoughts are on that. It seems to work pretty well for DEI. Yeah, we, in the value, we did the same. We followed the same model. Uh, a year or so ago, I think we we had several long discussions about that. Uh, and I think that was the... I think that was what we landed on that we wanted to archive them in GitHub. Okay. Uh, because it's maybe more transparent. Yeah, maybe they are then. Uh, okay. Uh, well, well, I'll tell you what, I'll do an action item for me. I, I can do that to archive to GitHub. Yeah, we don't. And it would just be a, just make a new folder called meetings. Yeah. Elizabeth, if you need help, I can help you quickly transfer the entire uh, Google Doc file to a Markdown file for archiving. Because I have a plugin that converts it quickly. Yeah, I got that plugin. So I, I'll i try, I'll give it a shot. And okay. if I have problems, I will I will ask you, Vinod. I will just put the Vinod label on it. There we go. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I know, Labels I do too. People. It's a terrible <laughs> idea, but it's a good idea all at the same time. <laughs> Terrible and awesome at the same time, as long as I'm not the person that's getting the label. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm uh, I'm never going to do another poll request. <laughs> um, okay. All future and poll requests belong to Vinod. <laughs> <laughs> um, we did want to also, we brought it up last week to welcome our She Code Africa students, but um, let's do that one more time because Mitty's here. So say welcome. hi, Mitty. If you, can. if you can. Awesome. So we're going to be working on a Slack bot that will help our newcomers figure out where to go and find their way in the vast chaos ecosystem that we have um, and all the things that are going on. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We're really happy to have you here. I think you just have the Slack bot automatically yeah. suggest. Are you looking for the metrics template? Yeah, right? No matter what you say, just... <laughs> it just pops it up for you. Yeah. Read your mind. Um, and then we have just a few minutes left. So Chaos Con Committee, if you wanna stick around, that would be great. Everybody else, you are free to go. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. You're awesome. Have a super Bye. awesome Tuesday. And we'll see you later. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye.